What's going on? Woo. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Mike Rich, man. What's happening with y'all today? I hope everybody, each and every one of y'all, is having a blessed day today, man. Today, Beater Series, man. I'm going to start bringing my Beatles, man. Bringing my Beatles to this channel. When I wanted to do some of these rejuvenator uh, demonstration videos, I was like, bro, I don't really have a lot of shoes that's dirty like that. But when I really think about it, I got a whole row of beaters that I just kind of wear outside to cut the grass, go to the store. Uh, sometimes I even wear some of these sneakers to work, man. So um, I'm gonna start a little series cleaning series called From Beaters to Heaters. From Beaters to Heaters, you feel me? With Rejuvenator, man. And I'm gonna show you the whole setup and the pair of beaters that I got right now man you can click the link below in the description my rejuvenator link my personal link for my channel um and uh get you some of these dope products to keep your shoes clean you feel me so let me let y'all go ahead and check out uh my setup and let's see if i can bring these shoes back because they beat to hell you feel me let's check them out so let's see what we go Ooh, trashed can Water on the guy, boy. Beater McGeeters. These are my Nike Presto, aka Beater guys. I got going on. You feel me? Midsole. The whole shoe is dirty, but the midsole just really takes the blunt of the abuse uh, because it's a white midsole. We're gonna go up to the top. These things messed up. So I'm trying to see if I can bring them back with my rejuvenator stuff. Uh, as far as my tools today, I have my Rejuvenator microfiber cloth going right here. I have my Rejuvenator um, microfiber mat going right here. I have my Rejuvenator, um, my Rejuvenator solution that I'm going to be using to clean the shoes with right there. I have my shoe tree so I can keep that shoe kind of straightened out while I'm cleaning it. And I also have my um, medium bristle brush right here. And this is for, this is like the in between like soft and hard brush. But I think for these midsoles, your boy is gonna have to use the stiff bristle brush from Rejuvenator Man to uh, really get through the dirt and grime on these Nike press those that I got going on right here, man. So that's my setup. And um, I feel like we should go ahead and get to the cleaning, man, because these things, woo, these things need it, man. Beater McGeeters right here. So y'all see the setup, y'all see the vibes, man. I think it's time to go ahead and get into it, see if I can get some kind of angle going on so y'all can see what I'm doing. Got the shoe nice and stretched out. Um, so I can go ahead and get into this cleaning, man. So um, these things through. But, uh, <laughs> All right, got my solution going. And I'm just gonna go straight, I'm gonna skip the medium brush and I'm gonna go straight to the stiff brush because these things right here don't need it, man. So, dip my brush into the solution in the water. You feel me? Let's see if we can go to work on these guys, man. No more procrastination. This time I rock the nation. Let's do it. Yeah, man, so these right here, gonna, it's gonna take some, it's gonna take a little work on these, man. I can see that already. Take a little elbow grease on these guys, bro. Cause that midsole is tarnished, boy. I'm working. I'm chopping blades over here. Bro. Yeah, this going I'm gonna take a little elbow grease for these, boy. I'm gonna work my way. I know I like, some people like to go across like this right here when they washing them. But I like to kind of like do the toothbrush, like you brushing your teeth effect right there. And kind of just really get into the midsole, man. Midsoles are the hardest thing to come clean. That's why I try to find sneakers that have really dirty midsoles. And this Presto midsole, it's made out of, I don't know what you call it, part polyurethane, rubber, I don't know what it is, but whatever it's made out of, it's hard to get clean once it done got dirty, man. So I'm going ahead and hammer in on these for a minute right quick. And I'm 100% glad that I went with the uh, stiff bristle brush because it's taking a, it's starting to come clean, but it's taking a minute for this. Like I said, do the toothbrush thing, man, when you just kind of up and down with the midsole instead of going across, that's what's really gonna get it clean. 
I'm not gonna do the upper too much. I just want to show y'all the difference between um, the white midsole getting clean. Taking my microfiber towel and I'm wiping the shoes down. It's this little, it's this little piece of dirt. It's a crease right up under this swoosh right here. It's hard to get that dirt off of. And there you have it, man. Things looking A1, man. Look how white I got the midsoles looking, bro, compared to the one I haven't washed yet. I'm gonna give y'all a close up on it so y'all can see, but that's the one I cleaned right there. Go around to the other side. This part was really hard. It was real stubborn about getting the dirt off of that. I didn't get the front as much as I probably wanted to. I probably could have hit this one a little bit more, but I just want to give y'all an idea of how white, like this shoe looks good now, man. This shoe looks wearable. It don't even, it don't look nowhere near like a beater no more. I'm gonna give y'all a close up real quick. All right, so here's a little before and after for y'all. As you can tell, which shoe is clean and which shoe is not. You feel me, like. Uh, I had a little issue like right up under here. I couldn't get that clean like I want to because that crease was keeping that dirt hidden, but I got it the best way I could. That's the clean shoe, clank, clank. Clean stamp of approval. And that's the beater right there. Still, they was like in the same exact shape. So it got all of that stuff off, man. Look at that. They got some little suds between that. I'm gonna dry that up a little bit, but that midsole looking fresh. Check the other side. The other side. It's like night and day. A couple of scuffs right here um, that didn't really come off through wiping it. But look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Night and day, man. Night and day. Rejuvenator action, man. You feel me? That is how you turn your beaters back into heaters. You feel me? With Rejuvenator, man. Yes, uh. So, yes, sir, man. Like I said, click the link below in the description. My Rejuvenator link below in the description to get you some of these uh, Rejuvenator products. And as always, I appreciate y'all for watching. Hit the thumbs up, like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Hit the notification bell so you can become a part of Rich Nation. Stand all the way up to the moon on them. I say these things are cleansed now. Clank, clank. You feel me? Keep watching my video because that's what I'm here for. Go Rich, no hype, just kicks. Jordan, six, eight and nine, fit. Hottest, trends, clank, clank, cleanse. Bless, yes, I'm rich. M, I K E, you know me. OG, only, real, no phony. ATL, homie, shot my boy T. YFHB, Icy Mint, freeze on my free throw line.